Hello YouTube, welcome to a new computer vlog. In this video we are going to take a look at my Abit BE6 uh, 2. The motherboard is in a really bad shape because many capacitors are broken. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Around 7 capacitors are broken and a friend of mine offered uh, help with uh, repairs on motherboards. In this video we are going to see if the motherboard still will boot up and if it were to repair it. I'm planning an overclocked Celeron build and this is one of the nicest motherboards for that purpose. So let's try it out. I have a Matrox uh, G100 video card. A Pentium 2 400. The motherboard doesn't have a bracket for the CPU but I have some spares uh, in the drawers. But for testing we don't need one. A stick of 256 megabytes of memory. Here we have a 250 watt powerman power supply and I really like this unit. And my compact keyboard with uh, the trackball. So let's get the camera a bit closer. Okay, the moment of truth. There's no power on the motherboard, so let's see if it starts. The fan is spinning, that's a good sign. And the processor is detected as 266, so it's running at 66 MHz. And the memory is detected, and the HP is working. CPU is unworkable or has been changed. Please recheck soft menu. And the keyboard is working. Nice, user defined. The multiplier is 4 times, but I think it's a locked CPU, so that doesn't matter. And here we have the CPU front side bus. And we have 66, 75, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 5, 6, 7, 8, very... all the steps. Oh, this is really nice for overclocking. 130, 133, 138, 142, and all in steps of 1 megahertz. 150, even over 150, 160. <laughs> this is insane! One, we can set a front side bus of 180 megahertz and it even goes further than that. 190, 193, 95, 200 MHz front side bus on a BX chipset and the base clock is 100 megahertz. Oh, but 200 megahertz is the max. This motherboard has great overclocking potential. Very nice. But let's go back to 100 and try it out with CPU. Really awesome motherboard. Yeah, Pentium 2 400. Oh, and the motherboard has an extra EDA controller. The motherboard is working, so I will clean it and then give it to uh, my friend so he can uh, work on the capacitors. Because it's really worth saving this Abit motherboard. So let's have some fun with this Celeron chip. It's a 300A chip and I uh, know for sure it will run on 450 MHz on stock uh, voltages. Celeron 300A detected, so let's go into the BIOS. Soft menu. It's now on 66 MHz CPU front side bus, so let's go to 100. So 
So we're gonna try a 50% overclock on stock voltages. Celeron 450 megahertz detected. So let's go to 105 megahertz. Celeron 470 Dream Makers detected. Let's go to 110 Makers. I don't know for sure if this will work, but let's check it out. I think 110 is a little bit too much for this CPU. So let's clear the CMOS. Celeron 300A. But what we can do is try 110. And then the core voltage we are gonna put on 2.2 volt. Let's see if it will boot up like this. And we have a Celeron 500 megahertz, and the normal stock speed is 300 megahertz. So there's a great potential in this CPU. So there you have it, the Abit BE62 with some bad capacitors, but with some work it will be a great motherboard again. And we already did an overclock from 300 megahertz to 500 megahertz without any difficulties. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. Please join Retro Machines on Facebook. See you next time.